Hello friends, welcome back to AZ204 hands on lab 1 access to. As I told you earlier, we need to have GitLab repo first in place, VS Code, and please open this particular URL in your browser. Okay. Now, in this video, we'll work on the access to, and it says we need to build a front end web application by using Azure Web Apps. Okay. So, here is access to, it says build a front end web app. Okay. Now, task one is to create a web app. First, go to the in Azure portal navigation pane select create a resource then search the marketplace and look for the web app okay okay let's look for web app web app okay it's here click on this one create a web app perfect now here we need to go to the web app and then basic tag tab here leave the subscription as it is resource group choose managed platform in the name you enter this one image web and then your name okay so now we are building the front end web okay in the web app name you write here and then i'll type okay as your uh, runtime stake okay then in the runtime stake go and choose dotnet core windows is us managed plan okay your image okay name code and from here we need to go and select dotnet core windows Location I'll go choose is US and service plan. We have just one managed plan. SQ will keep this one as it is. Okay, perfect. So this guys select click on monitoring. Okay. And I think it says enable application insights. Select no. Good. So we'll select no. We'll go next. Next review. And then let's go and create the web app so here click on create configure the configure a web app okay now wait for this web application to complete here you can see your deployment is underway so we'll wait for this to happen so here you can see it's done your deployment is complete we'll close this one okay now configure a web app so what you do is you need to go to the resource group select managed platform and from there select the image web the web, web application we just created and from the web app go to the settings section and select the configuration link okay so we are here we'll go to resource group managed platform here we have to look for image web here image web and then look for settings configuration All right, so what is next? So, subscription enable configure in the configuration section. We need to create a new application entry application settings. Select application settings, new application setting, and you enter the API URL. Okay, just follow me here. In the application settings, we need to create new application setting. Name is this one, and the value. Is we need to pass the API URL that we copied earlier. Click on this one, we'll leave this one as it is. Click on OK and click on Save. Continue. Updating web app settings. Okay, it's good. Now let's see what is next. Added deployment slot. Click on OK. Save. Wait for the application. So this part is done. Now let's talk about the task 3, which says deploy ASP.NET web application. So if you see, let me close this one. If you see currently, if I go to overview section, uh, sorry, uh, image web app, if I go to properties, properties. So here is my front end web application URL. I'll simply click on this one. So this is our front end web application looks like as of now, right? Now we need to deploy ASP.NET code. So we'll go to VS Code and we'll open the folder starter web. Okay. So I just open vs code okay so here's our vs code let's go to the path open folder i'll paste the location here okay now what is next it says that go and open inside the pages folder open this file index.cshtml okay so i'll go to vs code inside pages there should be a file called index.cshtml this is the one which we need to open now here 
it's open it says in the editor in the index model class line 30 open get things method open windows terminal icon okay so let me just go back here let's just see the first the line number 30 line 30 so this is the method it will retrieve the list of images from the api okay so this will get the list of images from the api from the backend api and in the line number 41 on post this particular method what it will do is it will just it is used to stream and upload the images to the backend api so basically once you upload the image it will stream it will send the image to the backend api okay now next is we need to open the windows terminal and then we need to log into the azure portal so i'll open the windows terminal windows r cmd okay let me just make it small now we need to type az login so this particular command will allow me to access my azure cloud account okay so i have to sign in here my id was there already logged in i'll just go back to the terminal okay it's if you see here here is my account so i have logged in successfully okay now let's go and see what is next so once you are there okay so here we are done with the step 9 okay now the next thing is that enter the following command and select enter to list all the applications in your managed platform okay so the command is that as add web app list need to give the resource name which is managed plat platform and yeah that's it hit enter so it will list out all the web applications which are there in my resource group okay now just look for the particular one so we'll just if you see there are so many things but we'll just look for starting with image web so i'll just say hope oh, nothing okay things are good hit let me hit enter okay now we'll just fetch the web application name so if you see here we have got so many things about our application but we'll just look for a particular thing we'll just fetch the name of our web application okay it's here image web okay azure perfect now the next thing is that we need to go to the all files starter web okay and then we'll do the deployment so let's vs code go to vs code open a new terminal here new terminal now where are we inside the web perfect so from here now we have to run this particular command this one to deploy the web application so this is the very important one let me just explain it says that as add web app deployment sources gif file resource group src web.gif file that we need to deploy and here is application name okay so i'll just type the command az web app deployment source i'll just copy this from here i'll just paste and i'll enter the application name myself application name is it's here image web app okay azure let me hit enter it should do the deployment for me yeah it started the zip deployment perfect so just wait for this to happen okay it's done now what is next so once you are done with the deployment just go to your resource groups click managed platform go to image web api and then click on the browse okay so here we are i'll just close everything it says go to resource group look for managed platform and here look for the application web app it's here now go click on browse here so i'm expecting a new application perfect so this is the deployment we just did so here things are good now what is next here we just need to now we need to deploy an image from starter images folder look for this one 
bahanami.jpg so i'll go to the application and let me just go and look for the image images okay perfect so this is the image that we want to deploy i'll copy the path i'll go back to the application choose i'll click on the browse okay it's already here i'll just pick the image click on upload so now you can see that i have the image here right now you see observe that the list of images list of gallery images has updated with your new image return to your browser window with the azure portal and close everything okay so we are done with the task to here okay so now we have to complete the exercise 3 so i'll catch you in the next video